Yesterday I woke up and I had like a little bit of a rash and this morning I've woken up and it's gotten worse. And now I'm super stressed. I'm not actually that stressed, it's just itchy and annoying and I don't want it because it's so gross. But I have like a little bit of a rash and it's on my thighs and I think it's an allergy to something. Maybe the soap or the bed sheets or something that they've used here. And now it's 8 a.m. and I'm gonna go and find some Benadryl or something. Dan woke up reluctantly and he's gonna come and get coffee with me too. So let's see if we can find something to uh, get rid of these bumps. They look even worse on the camera than they do in real life. Back in the room, just got super drowsy. I think the Benadryl is like kicking in because I'm like falling asleep. Feels like I'm falling asleep, but I'm awake. I'm walking to the bathroom door. I'm gonna have a relaxing day by the looks of it getting over to the island because I'm just gonna have, feel sleepy the whole day. I hope this subsides and I wake up a little bit shortly. Like 30 minute, 45 minute drive to Lorena Pier because we're going from a different pier. And then we have the boat ride and then we have to get to the hotel. I am going to finish packing my stuff. We have to leave here at 11. We have checked out of our hotel and we are in a tuk-tuk um, heading to Lorena Port. This one is a lot quieter than the one we came on, so it's going to be nice. got off of our uh, tuk-tuk. Luckily it was a nice quiet tuk-tuk. Um, we made it here to Lorena. It's a different port to the one that we arrived to, uh, but this one, it seems cute. Are you excited to go way. to Bohol? Yeah, it sounds like blowhole on a fish. The blowhole on a fish. So we are just walking up the street. He could have dropped us off at the cafe, but he didn't. He decided we needed to have a little walk, I think. Are we too early? Okay. Should we go to a restaurant oh, first? You can, you can get your lunch before you eat. Yeah, it's better, yeah? Okay. There's a cute little cafe. Well, there's a cafe, I don't know if it's cute. I'm not gonna put that out there yet. You can buy chicken for 20 pesos. Yeah. So we're gonna go over here, find the um, portside cafe. I have never seen a cafe that looks so bad. Is this place? So they don't have coffee. They have buffet. <laughs> the shapes look nice over there. At least they have like the fruit out and stuff. This is just like so cool. I can't deal with this right now. So we came to the uh, supermarket again and then they have mango grahams, which is super yummy, so I'm getting a mango graham. I think it would be better from here than that other cafe. The other cafe did not look very good. Cold. 
So we've made it into the terminal. As soon as you walk in, you literally have to go through all the scanners and stuff again as normal. And there is a 17 peso per person fee to come to the terminal, which is another thing that um, we weren't expecting, of course, but that's okay. Uh, we're about to jump on this boat. It's meant to leave at one, but I think it might leave a little bit early if everyone's there, or we have to just sit on there and wait for the passengers. I'm hoping that there's AC so that it keeps us cool because there's none in here. We're about to head on over to Boho on the ferry. to Boho and on our way here we got news that our flight has been cancelled on the 13th so I've had to try and get it rescheduled for the 12th they tried to offer me the 14th but we'll be staying over our visa there so let's hope they email back and say that we are able to do that because of our boys it's gonna be a real pain in the ass and we've got to figure that out I've got all these people waiting for us I feel like a celebrity Go to Alona Beach? I'm going to Alona, yeah. How much is it? For the person, huh? For the car service, this is the price of 1000 No, it's so much. 800 for two person. 800? Yes. That's a lot. Yeah, that is 40 minutes drive, so we... Two people? This one. Mm. Just like this. From here, go there. Oh. Take that. Take the tricycle. Are you guys going to leave here? Uh, you can take our tuk-tuk. Oh, perfect. How much is it to Alona? We're paying uh, 500 from uh, Panglao. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank yeah, you. We took a taxi here last time. We would definitely not recommend This is half price. Yeah. Like, if you walk out here, they have like, a tuk-tuk station. Oh, right okay. A taxi station. No, no. He's not allowed. Oh, he's not allowed. This one. Oh, he can go. We did a muka drop at the door. Got it? <laughs> Are you want to put the bag in the back? No. Yeah, no. Okay. He's got it. You can put it in the back. Yeah. Is it going to fall out? He'll strap it in. Didn't she say he's not allowed to pick up? Yeah, but he's doing it anyway. Breaking the rules. What are rules in the Philippines? So we're going to go in the tricycle there. Bye bye. 45 minutes, huh? Put my arm around you. Look like we're having a nice romantic ride. Bye, bitches. <laughs> Adios, amigas. could have got him to take the tuk-tuk down but there was a huge puddle and I didn't want to get him to drive through that for the sake of 100 meters so I figured we'd jump out and walk. The town looks a little busier than where we were just at. Oh the dogs are having sex. Apparently it's somewhere down here but I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Imagine, oh my god, I'll be so mad. Whoa, look at this house. Look how cool this house is. Doing a bit of exercise walking down. I think it was a thousand meters, not 100 meters, but that's okay. Almost there. Doing me good, doing dang good. Getting us going. I think I found it. Here it is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so I give him my passport and fill out this. We're in five. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got a bedroom, guys. 
Nice bathroom, nice bed. We just checked in, we got a super cute room for the next couple of nights. Maybe we'll stay here for the last night as well because the other one, I don't know, it looks a bit far away. Alona Beach and it is crazy here I thought it was gonna be a lot quieter like not quieter but I thought it'd be more walkable than what it has been but so far it is not walkable like in terms of El Nido but we've just come down onto like a walking street area but there's bikes and cars which are not meant to go here so I'm a bit confused but we're walking down to the beach we're gonna have a look and see what's down at the beach area and see if there's anything that we fancy eating but Dan did say he wants to try McDonald's so maybe we'll end up getting McDonald's what do you think we made it down to Alona Beach and there is seaweed everywhere, so I don't think it's a swimming beach. We're gonna try and find somewhere to eat. The sun is setting behind the island, and uh, there's a few places along the beachfront that might be taking our fancy. So we're gonna wander along and see what's here and decide what we're gonna do. There's a few restaurants along here, but I don't think we're gonna eat at any of these tonight. We're gonna head on up to McDonald's and maybe try McDonald's tonight. It sounds like an exciting little adventure. And I think you always should try McDonald's in every country you go to and see how different it is. You have to beware of the jellyfish and the sea urchin, apparently. We have the 7-Eleven ripoff behind me, the seven to one. And then we're also gonna head on into McDonald's and get some food, I'm excited. We're here. They have AC. We can pay digitally. Holy shite. Dan is ordering a few things on the menu and then I'm gonna order some. We're gonna try a bunch of different things and just taste it and see what it actually tastes like. Cause it's super cheap. And uh, why not? What should I get? I want fries. What a shake shake fries. I'm gonna get shake shake fries for an extra five pesos. Anything else you'd like to have? No. Done. Give me the card. Give me the money. Success. Good job. So I guess we have to wait for our number now, which is number 58. But maybe if we sit down, they'll be nice and bring it to us. Who knows? What is that that she is doing? Gravy? They give you free refill on gravy here. You can have gravy for your stuff and it's a free refill. So maybe I'll try the gravy. I wonder if it's like KFC gravy. KFC gravy is so yummy. We ordered so much stuff, I'm actually so excited. Dan's gonna try and eat everything that I ordered and I'm gonna try and eat everything that Dan ordered. I want nuggets, yum. I'm so excited for the nuggets. You are? Yeah. You Our food fries. is coming. I ordered one large fries. I don't know if that one's ours or if there's yeah, another one. I didn't order fries. I ordered fries. She's looking for the number. Oh, I got excited and I thought she was coming for us, but she wasn't. Damn. 58. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. My stomach is like eating itself. I'm hungry too. Let's see if this is it. No, I don't think bag. so. Earth is not even meant to go. You never know what it's gonna be. Running around looking for the numbers. Look for our number and deliver the food. Oh yeah, get it. It's not ours. Oh. The excitement is killing us. Oh my god. Where is our food? I'm hungry. We ordered a while ago. We've been waiting 29 minutes. Oh, it's not. Oh, the anticipation. We back. We didn't get to go. We got dining. Oh, yeah. Just getting excited for it. Oh, I 
ready for it now. It's been 35 minutes. Dan is very concerned that he's been waiting for 35 minutes. Well, it is going to come when it is ready. Finally have our food. It's 45 minutes. I'm gonna try this thing first. The mushroom rice thing. Well, it's cold. Shaker fries. Gets cheese, but I don't want to put the cheese in that. The fries are good, they're salty. They taste just like McDonald's fries. The barbecue sauce. Sorry. It's not like proper barbecue sauce. Sweet and sour sauce is alright. Tried a quarter pounder. It's got pickle in it, yuck. Not too bad. Beef definitely tastes a little different to American beef, but it's close. So it's weird because it's almost there. The fries are my favorite. What's your verdict? It's so funny, people are so confused to you vlogging and watching like how people's reactions, and it's so funny. If you've ever walked around talking to a camera in public before, I reckon you should try it because it's so funny just to watch people. Oh yeah? Yeah. The gravy's good. <laughs> oh yeah? Alright, we got the last thing to try and that is our shake thing. The fudge, caramel, whatever. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, it's um, I forgot what it's called actually. Do you guys remember what it's called? The caramel super yummy. But you can't really go wrong with caramel, can you? Out of a packet. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy. Can't go wrong with Oreos out of a bag. Nope. So weird. The blower for your hands is outside of the bathroom and in the restaurant. So you can dry your hands and everyone can watch you. The bacteria can fly around. Yeah. Well, the verdict on McDonald's was it wasn't great. Can't expect too much from an American chain in the Philippines, can you? Yes. Caramel is yummy there. So one big thing about when you're here in the Philippines is if you find the BPI bank, you're able to collect 20,000 PHP instead of 10,000. So that way you get charged less from your bank and you save a little bit more money. Ching ching! Whoa! Wow! Go to BPI, get your money up from there, save yourself a few dollars on charges. Guys, they have sea urchin here. Check this out, this is crazy. Okay, you want to try? No, it's scary. Why are you scared? We can do grills. Scary. Little urchins. Oh look, you have conch shells and everything. She really wanted us to eat the raw seaweed that she got, but plenty of seaweed on the beach. I can just go and eat that if I want it. Really freaks me out. I don't know why. I just couldn't eat that. I tried a scorpion when I was in Thailand. That was like the original time that I started with Asia. But I just can't do that anymore. I value not being sick more than I value trying a bit of food on the side of the street. So I'm not gonna give that a go.